We've had a fantastic time looking at Manta Force, haven't we? Have well, don't be like that. You've you've loved it. You know, I, I think I can see a wee smile. Come on. We've covered both Red Venom and the Bog Rocket so far. Each has their own quirks. I dare say they speak to my aesthetic and personal tastes, respectively. But the elephant in the room when you discuss Manta Force at all is the one that started it all: the Manta. Now, I'm sure I don't need to tell you, Manta stands for Multiple Air Naval Terrain Assault, and wowee, is it ever a big beast of a thing. My Manta has perhaps seen better days. We are missing some missiles up top, and the canopy doesn't connect like it ought to, but are we going to let that stop us? No! What the... What? Uh, never mind. Okay, so the Manta. It's a big spaceship, shaped like a manta ray. Cool. You know, I mean, it's nowhere near as cool as Red Venom, and it's not as disgustingly pleasing as the Bog Rocket, but the sheer mass really makes up for it, and it's still a pretty great design that speaks to the heroic nature of the crew. Speaking of the crew, you can see them through the panels on the side of the ship, no doubt spending their time watching Curb Your Enthusiasm and ordering their cigarettes from Duty Free. Look at the size of those boosters! And all the sculpted detail, it's a fun thing to just run your fingers across. You can pick the whole thing up with this handle if you're super, super sure that you've got it closed correctly. As I've said, we're missing some missiles, but I've been reliably informed by expert Commander Merrifield that you can use a missile from another Manta Force toy that we'll see in a future review. You can store them here, or you can place them in these launchers, which do work with all the force and abandon of a 1980s children's toy. That is to say, just below lethal. <laughs> Open up the canopy, which is fairly easy on my Manta, and we have our commanders Bill Quest, Buck Finn, and Nigel Hunt. Each have command over Nair, Aval, and Terrain troops and vehicles, with Big Bill sitting in the boss's lazy boy. The fun thing about this ship's bridge is that we have two little beds, and what appears to be a kitchen with a hob is very odd but extremely cute. Now, the Manta marketing tells us this ship is two ships in one, but it's more than that and less than that at the same time, open up the weirdly creepy face at the front and you can lift off the entire command section, almost saucer separation like, and you have two major pieces to work with. Immediately we're treated to the incredible sight of the Manta's inner workings, but we'll get to that. The upper half is the least impressive of the bunch, so let's get that out of the way. I mean, it's fine, you know, the Manta attack ship, there's some nice detail underneath, front facing guns, some wheels, but that's really it. You, you can connect it to the bottom half like this, so you have a kind of command observation deck, but it's going to get in the way. So forget it! Okay, so the real reason why the Manta is such an incredible toy, the Manta command base. Look at all this stuff. Now, I have filled out the ranks a little bit so that all the seats are filled and we have crew in all the vehicles too. You do get Major Leon Vex and his boyfriend Sydney and three members of Viper Squad, but we've seen those and I would not sully the Manta with their evil presence. Seeing all the detail at each seated station, the little stairs, it's adorable. You know, it does strike an intimidating pose, all these vehicles primed and ready for deployment, which you can do by folding this ramp down. Okay, so let's see. Uh, first up, time for some navel gazing. There are three vehicles that fall under the Manta Sharks unit. First is the SAM, which stands for Special and My Friend. An underwater exploration vehicle, SAM has two arms and a bubble you can open up to place some poor soul inside. It's very, very cute. The Aquatac is a slightly less terrifying prospect to pilot, with a lot of non-firing rockets and of course space for Captain Finn's finest. And last up is the Hydro Blaster, a vehicle designed for two best friends with some lovely detail and dual lasers. Time for the Manta Hawks to step into the fray with three vehicles of their own. First up is the petrifying Manjet, where someone is expected to strap onto this death trap and fire off some rockets. No thank you, Commander Quest. The Skeeter is an exploratory vehicle for one, with a nice movable engine at the back. The air support is rounded out by Blue Lightning, a strike vehicle for one that I don't necessarily trust to get airborne. The Manta Wolves round out proceedings with their terrain support vehicles. The Strike Bike has a great name, but I do worry about the safety of the operator here. That can't be good for your back. The Gun Dog is a violent little bumper car. This is missing a little radar dish, but we'll rectify that in a future video, folks. Trust me. We've got a pretty massive inclusion with the Rocket Rammer. Not only do we have some sculpted rockets, a dual cockpit at the back, but you also get someone at the front here, and you could not pay me enough 
let me tell you. The vehicle has a fun steamroller at the back, and the whole front arm can lift up to fire rockets at the fucking moon. Finally, we have the battle copter, which technically falls under the Manta Hawks, but I think three vehicles apiece is fair, and they can all share this one, okay? This is the most robust of the lot when it comes to features. Sadly, we're missing some missiles in the back here that can fire from this rotating turret by this doomed soul riding on top. We've got a double cockpit at the front and an extremely cool swivel gunner position too. There's even a door at the back. What a fantastic time. Altogether, Manta Force is a force to be reckoned with. The sheer scale, the amount of things to mess about with, the little Manta lads, I just adore it. Even if I do veer more towards Red Venom or the Bog Rocket, there's no doubt that the Manta really does deserve to be the flagship of the line. I'm glad the other two ships decided to scale things down a little too for sheer storage space. This is something you really need to commit to. But I will, you know, you have to stand up for your passions once in a while. Maybe there's a little lesson in there for some of you. Okay, bye, cheerio, bye, 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 bye,